a lot of you guys don't know, Sean Puffy Combs was basically the mirror image of what Kanye West looked up to. He saw Quincy Jones. He saw Puffy Combs. And he was always... I'm trying to get like you, Puffy. I'm trying to get like you, Puff. You see, I'm trying to get my fashion up there because I'm all about fashion. So when he was talking all these ideas to Puffy, about back when he was uh, doing Sean Jump, and he was talking about Kanye was like, nah, I'm trying to be like, like, like Versace, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to go there with the fashion. And Diddy was like, that's a bold move. You know, because he was telling, we got to stop being scared. We got to stop being scared to, to say, oh, we can't, we can't do it like that. We can only do polo shirts and blue jeans. We, we more than that. And Puff was like, nah, it just ain't that. He's like, what do you think those designers are going to do? They own the warehouses, the distribution market. They got that on lock. Puff's like, you think that's that's what Sean John was about? <laughs> He's like, no, we tried those avenues. <coughs> and it was too expensive. And they were going to make it expensive. And they would bleed you out before you make any profit. Especially if you're trying to do it. John Doe, you know, and, and come into their market that they got on lock. They're going to make sure they bleed you out. But Puff, he loved Kanye as a brother. Like, man, he saw a little him. It's like, this dude is me. He's got all this energy, all this creativity, all these ideas. Like, this is my guy here. You know, I want to help guide him. So he used to give words of advice and guidance to Kanye West more than Jay-Z did. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of decisions that was made that had nothing to do with Jay. It had all the, everything to do with Puff. This picture you seeing from the, the GQ shoot and all that stuff, that's, that's Diddy. Trying to get Kanye into the faces of the right people. You know, he was telling them, like, look out for this guy. You know, this is the one you want to put your investments in. And, like, he's the talent. He's really talented. Some people can't handle fame. We've seen that happen. You know, we've seen that happen to game. And we've seen that happen to other artists in the game who get fame so much they just don't know what to do with it and fame is not everything is cracked up to be I remember Kanye West flew in he was um, in the middle of doing some type of press run he, he hadn't eaten in like 10 hours and somebody brought him some food and he had to do the in the middle of his interview that he was doing he was like let me get 20 minutes before we start this interview he goes in there he just start wolfing down the food man just just throwing it all down and he was like i know this isn't i know y'all think we all eat glamorous you know we all go out to the rest fancy restaurants and eat and it's not like that <laughs> whenever we get a chance to get some food down we got to like throw it down and hopefully it's enough to sustain because you don't have time. He was like, right now, I won't have time for about three months. And he's like, that's hard for people to understand. That's not in the business. They was like, man, I called you two weeks ago. You still ain't called me back. It's like, dog, if I did see it, I really didn't have the time. I'm on a plane. I'm trying to get some rest in. We we you're doing shows. I got to do some appearances. I got to go on the talk show. I got to hit radio. And you're ripping and running. You're exhausted. You're jet lagged. 
and you got somebody giving you a Red Bull or something to pick you up so you can be energized on the show. You got makeup crew. You got sound check. You got it's so much that goes on that people just don't understand it or they're not ready for it. Then you start seeing these things like meltdowns and I don't know what's happening to me and all this other stuff. It's just it's a big gumbo pot of a mess. What did he? Here's the advice I have for you. At this point, Kanye West is a 40 some year old man. What could you do for him? <laughs> you know, it's like, what could you do for Kanye right now? Nothing. Okay, Kanye is Kanye West. That's all he's going to be is Kanye West. And there's nothing nobody could do about it. Okay, if Kanye would have to change Kanye. All right, nobody be like, let me come in and talk to the brother. That's that's just popularity stuff, man. You know? We've seen that show. So, I understand you said tell the brother to give you a call. Because Puff is a positive human being. You know, he's all about positivity. He's not in it for no negative stuff. But it's just not the time. When things die down. You know how to get in contact with Kanye. See, this is what kills me about this stuff, too. They hate the media and say, oh, well, the media, y'all start this and that. But then y'all use the media. Y'all don't want to want to send out messages through the media. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you stop putting out fake stuff or your messages through the media, don't use that platform then. If you don't want to be bothered with the media, don't use them. Don't don't throw stuff out to the media so that the media could do your work for you. And all these rappers and entertainers, they do this, they play these games. These entertainers, they call paparazzi, Tiger, and be like, yo, I'm coming outside. <laughs> Get the cameras ready, Tiger. So, on that note, that's all I really got to say about it. I mean, he went on Twitter rant. He's in South Africa ranting on Twitter. I'm the best, and I want to do ranting on Twitter. And hopefully, he's getting some attention. But nobody's really giving him that platform. You know? Uh, you got you always going to have them brothers who supported him and jumped behind him. Who now people gonna look at them funny? Like you still with Kanye? Cause they was there for the bag. They was there for the free plane flight. They was there for the show. Ferris. They was there, cause they Kanye gave them a ticket and flew them out to to Wyoming, so they can go back and brag about his his album, which was trash. Don't think we ain't forget all that. All y'all, he flew out there to Wyoming. What y'all said about the album when y'all came back, telling us it was fire and it was trash. Don't think we forgot. I ain't forgot, Ferris. So, I'm going to just let this be known. We can't call Kanye a Sambo if we still acting like Sambo's. Okay, so when we are trying to actually help this man, we know how to get in contact with him without going through social media. Finding Kanye West contacts would not be a hard task for Sean Puffy Combs. Wouldn't you agree? So we shouldn't even have this conversation. I just think this is a moot point at this point juncture. What y'all think? Well, I know.
But anyway, I'm out. One crack news, baby.